Merci les gars. Hey you. Yeah you. Having trouble playing basketball? Ever wish you could shoot a basketball like the pros? Then do I have some tips for you? Tip one: Get the proper equipment. Okay, why don't you try to do some suicides for me? There's problem number one. You need the right equipment. How is this supposed to help me? Players don't want to slip when they change directions quickly. So shoes will help you by providing a sole with a higher coefficient of friction so it can grip the floor better. Coefficient of friction? What's that? And do I really need basketball shoes? The coefficient of friction, which is a constant that varies for different materials and different surfaces, is used to measure the force of friction using the equation force of friction equals coefficient of friction times the normal force. The normal force is the upward force exerted by the surface. Basketball shoes are important because they are specifically designed for wooden floors. While normal running shoes are fine for other surfaces, they tend to be somewhat more slippery on wood, which is commonly used in gyms. However, Basketball shoes are designed solely for basketball and the surface it's played on. Therefore, when you use basketball shoes, there will be a greater force of friction, which will allow you to cut and change direction much more quickly. Now do some suicides. Tip 2. Shooting. Basketball is not just a game of strength and skill. There is a lot of physics involved in it. Now, let me see you take a shot. You see, in order to take a successful shot, you must, of course, first exert a force on the ball. This allows for the ball to have an initial velocity. The second force is gravity. Simply aiming the ball directly at the basket will not work because the ball will end up way below the net due to gravity. The force of gravity will cause the ball to accelerate downwards at 9.8 meters per second squared with negligible air resistance. So you will need to angle the ball upwards, slightly above the net. The motion of the ball is called projectile motion, which looks like a parabola. When the ball is suspended in the air, the only force acting on it is gravity, a constant force, which will first cause the ball that was thrown upwards to slow down until eventually the velocity in the vertical direction is zero, at which point the ball will have risen to its maximum height. From there, the ball will fall back down and pick up speed, as the force of gravity will cause the ball to accelerate downwards. This is why the motion of the ball looks like this. Tip 3. Jumping. Okay, so that won't get you very far. You want to jump high enough to maximize the time you spend in the air so that you can take the best shot you can. In order to do this, you must take into account the angle you jump at and the force you push off into the ground. The harder you push off the ground, the higher you will jump because the ground will push up on you just as hard. This is because of Newton's third law that states that for every action force for object A on B, there will be a reaction force from object B on A with the same magnitude and opposite direction. Here, the action force is you pushing on the ground, and the reaction force is the ground pushing on you. Tip 4. Passing. Lastly, motion is always described as relative. This means that if the player you're passing to is moving, you cannot throw the ball straight at them because the ball will move to where the player was when you threw it, and not to where the player will be. As a result of Newton's first law, which states that an object in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by an external force, the ball will continue traveling in the direction you threw it at, so don't expect it to curve by itself to wherever you want it to be. So, you would have to pass the ball slightly in front of the player for them to be able to catch it right at the perfect spot. Okay, so remember, first, always make sure you have the right equipment. Second, keep in mind all the forces relevant to the motion of both you and the ball, so that you can successfully jump, shoot, and make passes. Now that you've followed up these steps, are you ready?